Hey guys and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at Hardlight, an exotic auto rifle that you can get from Zer in the tower this weekend. Although this mightn't be the most powerful auto rifle in the game, you'll want to pick it up because it has a few unique perks and traits that you're going to want to have in your arsenal. First things first though, this weapon is strictly CQB. You will not be long ranging with this weapon or cross mapping. This is strictly for close to medium quarters. One of the very unique perks about this weapon is the fact that it behaves much like a pulse rifle, in a sense that when you insert the magazine you do not need to cock the hammer, as you do with every other order rifle in the game. This means less time reloading and more time shooting. Although this weapon has very dramatic recoil, as long as you stick within your effective range it should not become a problem. Your effective range is within 30 feet, I would not go beyond this because it becomes increasingly difficult to keep your shots on target. Let's talk about stats. So here are the base stats. Your fire rate, recoil and stability are quite high. Your impact and range are very low and you've got 40 bullets in your magazine. We again concentrate on upping that stability and giving you more bullets in your mag. The first perk you're going to want to go and get is CQB Ballistics. This will greatly reduce recoil but give you a significant penalty to range. You won't notice the penalty to range because we're going to be sticking in close quarters combat. The next perk is Glass Half Full. The bottom half of each magazine causes additional damage. This will be a boon in CQC for when your mag is running dry, you need to down that final enemy. Pair this with Field Scout to give you maximum ammo capacity, bringing your base magazine from 40 rounds to 56. This will give you more bullets to shoot and more bullets in the bottom half of your mag for more damage. The final perk you're going to want to get is Volatile Lights. Rounds fire from this weapon over penetrate targets and ricochet on hard surfaces. Although the ricocheting on hard surfaces is mainly for show, the over penetration will bag you a couple of collateral kills. One final trait to note about Hardlight is that this gun is incredibly fun to use. This is something that is widely overlooked in the world of Destiny. In my opinion, if the gun isn't fun to use, it's not a good gun. The overall look and feel of this weapon makes me think of weapons from Borderlands, which makes it incredibly fun to use. Although this has been hit by the recent nerf to auto rifles in Destiny, this is still a very strong weapon and I would highly recommend it to anyone looking for an exotic auto rifle in their collection. My final thoughts on this weapon is that Hardlight is a must have for any Guardian. Although it mightn't be the most powerful, it is the most enjoyable. This has been my Destiny Showcase on Hardlight. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, favorite, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.